Hello there, I'm Fano Gaseke, a part one two political science here at the University of Zimbabwe. Last year when we came to school in August, there were elections. A lot of young political zealous amateurs came around our lecture theatres as well as our halls of residence asking for our votes, to vote for them in the Students' Representative Council, SRC they said. By then, we didn't even know what the SRC is, what it does. But I'll take this opportunity time as we head to the elections to enlighten you on what exactly is the SRC. What it does, its mandate, its constitution, as well as where its funding comes from. According to the University Act, Act number 27 of 1982, every university should have a student's association. And at this University of Zimbabwe, the student's association is known as the Students' Union. What makes up the Students' Union? The Students' Union comprises of every registered student here at the University of Zimbabwe, who when you pay school fees, you pay a dollar which is channeled towards your membership. And this dollar that is channeled towards your membership makes up the budget that is administered by the Students' Representative Council. The Students' Union has a Students' Representative Council, and this Students' Representative Council has also two boards. The first one, which is the Students' Executive Council. The second one, the SRA, Student Representative Assembly, which comprises of every student representative from each faculty who are elected at faculty level. The SRA is mandated to monitor the activities of SEC as well as approve its budget. As a body, the University of Zimbabwe Student Representative Council is firstly mandated to represent students on matters that affect their interest, both as individuals and as well as a group in the pursuit for academic freedom. Secondly, they are to promote intellectual, scientific, artistic, cultural, political, religious, social and economic activities arising from its members as well as uplift their general welfare. Thirdly, to provide, encourage, develop among its members the formation of clubs, organizations and societies for such purpose as I have mentioned above. Fourthly, to provide an effective channel for communication between the students body and the University of Zimbabwe's authorities as well as the people of Zimbabwe in general. Now that you have understood what is the SRC as well as its obligations, as you go to vote, go and vote for a candidate that understands, number one, his obligations, that is what is demanded of him. Number two, a candidate that is ready to represent us so that our voices are heard as well as our problems are solved. If you desire to see solutions being brought to our problems, vote for Nogaseke in the forthcoming SRC elections.